So, did you talk to Susie lately? Who? Susie? Did Susie call you? Who? Susie, my sister. Susie? Yeah. No, since she goes with that guy. Um, she doesn't, maybe. Maybe she's not with yet. I don't know. Since she, since she was here with him, you know, and that time uh, when he was here, he didn't say one word. Or he said she introduced him, and I said, uh, uh, well, a friend of uh, Susie's is my friend, too. And that was all I said, and then we were sitting here talking, and he didn't say one word. Yeah, he's a quiet guy. Say, I didn't say nothing either. So I don't know. He was so, so if she likes him. He must be a nice guy. Yeah, I'm sure he's a nice guy. Yeah, he, he is a nice guy. I met him, but uh, yeah. you know, he's Jewish. Yeah. No, he's not. Oh, he's not. No, <laughs> that's the only thing. <laughs> but uh, never are mind. A, are you in a mess? <laughs> <laughs> you said it. <laughs> You are uh, too religious, and then they uh, let you down all together. Yeah, what can you do? Don't they can't do, do nothing. They're not going to pick anybody that you like. They're going to pick somebody that they like. Yeah, right? well, hopefully they'll like somebody that's at least Jewish. Anyway, let's change the subject. And <laughs> both of them. No, no, no. No, Nancy's Nancy. married. Nancy. Jewish boy. Yeah. That's a nice guy. Nice guy. Jewish boy. I don't know. I, 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 he, he, he goes here maybe once for a little yeah. bit. That's all. <coughs> I had a baby here with Halima. was here with, with the baby, and the baby only is that as he Skype. Yeah. I had such a good time with her. She, was, uh, she always wanted to come. You know, she, she can't walk. So she goes on her floor. She crawls. Right, she crawls. And all of a sudden, you crawl. She, at the minute the mother put her down on the floor or on her pillow, or she crawls and comes. Here I look. Here she crawls, and then she stands up on my bed and she just wants to come to in my bed all the time. <laughs> Why was that cute? And is she gorgeous? Yeah. Yeah, is she gorgeous as she live and do that. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. So I'm going back to New York on Thursday. Thursday morning? Um, about, uh, my flight leaves at about one in the afternoon. What do you fly? Yeah, sure. But you have to come to Cleveland to take the plane? Yeah, the plane, well, yeah, sure, Hopkins. Dad takes me to the airport and then, uh... So what do you do? Drive down? You from the, what, from, uh, where, to the airport? From the ta Tasha Yeshiva, wherever. Um, I can either go from, I can use the, there's a, uh, there's like a little bus that leaves the Holiday Inn from, that's right by the Yeshiva. Oh, yeah. Or Dad takes me. Dad takes me to the airport. But then Dad would have to call you at the yeshiva. I call him, yeah. I call him and I tell him, you know, when to come, and he comes, and then uh, he drops well, me off. Well, he'll probably take you. Yeah, he took me the last two times. And how long, and how long are you going to... Well, your car doesn't work. Yeah, it does, but uh, to leave it at the airport is very expensive. You have to pay for parking every day. Oh, yeah. So it's not worth it. Well, but I mean to bring uh, to come to Daddy and then leave it by Daddy. And well, no, it's so actually on, short, yeah. What's the that's difference? That's a short trip. Already. Yeah, that doesn't make so much. Um, yeah, I'm on the way to the airport for him, yeah. so. Well, you're on the way, and then yeah. Okay. So he has to go there. Yeah, so it's it's no problem. Huh. And what is it? An hour to go to New York? Hour and a half. Yeah. And what does the do? What does she do? She um she took uh, English in college. What? She has an English degree. Oh. And she's a little bit of a writer. She works for a Jewish organization. She oh. helps with the things that they put out. She helps like edit some of the things. She like does editing. And does she get uh, a salary? 
Yeah, she gets paid a certain amount. A little amount. bit, and, and, she's, and she's also in school yet in, uh, in a yeshiva? No, she, she graduated from a girl's school, and uh, she's been working, and she takes classes at night a little bit. She goes to... Uh, to classes. So she isn't in an institution like a you put No, it. the girls are, are different. They don't go to yeshiva for so long. Yeah, but... Uh, she uh, went to a she went to a, a religious school. But she's very religious? She's an she's a Orthodox girl. <laughs> That's all. Very religious. She so keeps very, kosher, very, she keeps Shabbos. What can a girl be so very religious? She... She isn't going to Minyan every morning. Girls aren't uh, required yeah. to go to Minyan. It's not so that's all right. Yeah, the girls aren't really required to do as no. much as guys are. No. Even if they're in a yeshiva. Was she in a yeshiva? She was in a girls' school. It's different yeah. for girls. It's not a yeshiva. It's not no. the same. Girls don't learn Gomorrah. And they don't learn like guys learn. I see. It's different. Well, that's yeah, right. but they, you know, they learn the laws that they need to know. They and learn how about. How is she looking? How does she look? Is she's she... a pretty girl. She's she a, yeah. Tall. She, yeah, she's about five five. She's a good size. Yeah, well, that, yeah that's a lot. Blonde, blonde hair, blue eyes, <laughs> but she looks yeah. Jewish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's a pretty girl, nice girl. But I've only gone out with her a couple and how times. How did you meet her over there? Yeah, yeah, I met Somebody. her through a shotgun. Yeah. Somebody might set us up. Yeah. That's an old fashioned method. That's right. The old way, a and it, it works. Years and years. No more shotguns, hardly. There's to, to, the, to school like that, they have. But, uh, there's hundreds in New York. Hundreds yeah, of shotguns. New York. Yeah. <laughs> well, New York has a bigger Jewish population. Yeah. That. But any Jewish lady who knows girls and knows guys is already yeah, she's a shotgun. Yeah, yeah, they, they set up. To, right. They try to pair them up. That's right. Got to get our children married somehow, right? What time do you get up in the in the, in the, in the, shade in the morning? Uh, about six thirty. Six thirty. And how did you come down? I was by dad for Shabbos. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I just, I didn't get a chance to see you because I was so busy, Arab Shabbos, so I figured I'd come yeah, on my so way back. About, so, how about, yeah, now I wouldn't have seen you all week long, huh? You would have gone my way. Yeah. And how, uh, was Daddy up this morning, so? No, was, no, I didn't, no. Nah. You didn't bother? No. You would sneak out and you, uh, you I went to time. shul, I davened at, uh, on Green Road, and, and I came here straight time? from shul. Yeah. Oh, you have that, and the car runs? Yeah, it's uh, an old clinker, but it goes. But it runs? Yeah, Baruch Hashem. Well, mom, mom has so much money. Why does she need so much money? <laughs> well, Can I know she, her? She gives me all the why money. Why can't she uh, buy a car? Well, I don't want another car. I don't want to spend any money on a car. Maybe when I get she married. She wouldn't miss it. Well, if, he, if he has so much money. She gives me a lot of money, Granny. She gives me plenty. Why yeah. should I ask for more? I have everything I need. Can I know her? I have everything I need and more. I'm very happy. I, this car, can I know her? It's fine. It goes. It's all I need. And is she, uh, she doesn't uh, object that you ask for religious? This yeah. girl? No, mother. Oh, mom? No, she's very happy. Really? Yeah, she she wants me to become a rabbi. She really is uh, very supportive of me. She, well, that's all right to uh, be a rabbi. It's all right. Then, then at least you have a reason to be, <laughs> to be a, you, uh, you Every Jew your, is a rabbi. You make your living out of it. No, no. Every Jew is required to study day and night. You mean for a rabbi? For, for any, any Jew. Any Jew. That's what it means to be an Orthodox Jew, is to learn Torah day and night. 
on a day and night. So you <laughs> what did sleep. your father do? You have to sleep. Somewhere. Okay, so I'll sleep a few My hours. My father wasn't such a Talmud Kuchum. But he learned whenever he could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever you saw him, he had the Gemara open, right? Yeah, but uh, not uh, to an extent, you know, that to... Uh, I'm like, not so extreme. He was very from Manch, and he uh, knew the Gemara or whatever it is. He was a Talmud Kuchum, I would sure. say. But not, uh, well, he was too old already then, so what do I know how he was in his youth? We were already... Uh, what do you think they did in Pressburg? Hmm? What do you think they did in Pressburg? In Pressburg? In where? In Pressburg. Pressburg Yeshiva. Well, I don't know. My daddy went to Pressburg. I oh, no? I don't know. Oh. He was an old man when I was born. Yeah. You that was his second marriage. You never asked she him? She was a young woman. She, he was already 60 when I was, when I was born. Right. So you see, I don't know what, uh, uh, what, uh, where he, he had his Jewish uh, upbringing, kind of a boys when I was in, uh, by Rebus, when I went to school there, so I know the two boys were impressed, but the third one couldn't go because he, somebody had to help my brother-in-law in the business because he had such a big business, you know, and somebody had to help. So, so the one who wasn't so very such a big time at Fulham, so that one they kept home and he had with the business. So, but he had to, uh, somebody had to help him. Sure. And if he sent this one to uh, the yeshiva too, then he would have to hire help. Right. So that's what happened. So you have one already in shul, and you had already your breakfast too? No, I'm going to eat at the yeshiva. Oh, you're going out to the yeshiva, and then you Thursday you're leaving for... Right. And uh, now when you get there and you have breakfast, then you start to study right away? Right. And then you study all the time, up till... Haven't you got any free time for yourself? If I want, I'll take free time. But uh, I want to, um, I want to get uh, you know as much learning as, as I can, you know, while I have Look, the chance. Rabbi Beder is a rabbi, and he doesn't even bear a beard. A beard. I, I asked him. I asked Did him you? why. I told him you were curious, and I asked uh -huh. him. <laughs> I asked him why he doesn't have a beard. Yeah, that's all right. I was curious. I and, wanted to know. And I, he told me. That it's because the people at Menorah Park would prefer a rabbi without a beard. That what? The people at Menorah Park would prefer to have a rabbi without a beard, just like I told you, right? That's what I thought. That's what he said. All right. So just because... Uh, that he works for them. He works for them. He works for the living. So that, that... But he wants to make them happy, too. He wants them to be happy with their rabbi, so he doesn't mind he shaves. It's a... Uh, you know, certainly, certainly he wants yeah. them to be happy with him. He wants them to feel comfortable with him. Oh, I don't think those old people would mind if he would have a little beard. Well, whatever. I don't think they would mind. No big deal if either they way. they like him, they like him. That's anyway. true. It's no big deal. But anyway. No big deal is right. What's the difference? He's a nice guy. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him he yesterday. He a good position. See, he has, he's the director of uh, Menorah of Park. Menorah, and I don't know how much saying he has with this place. Tomorrow is Father's Day. I want to tell today. you to come over. Today. Today, today. This afternoon. I might, I don't know. Maybe might you'll go over to Dad's. Nobody will be there. And, uh, I mean, uh, Lloyd isn't coming. So I don't even know. What I would like to do is, I should have gone before the holidays and now on Father's Day. If I could make it, I'll tell the Lloyd about it. We should go out in the cemetery. Oh, to visit I Papa. Been, I haven't been there. I don't know how I can walk between those, uh, what you call it, but yeah. now we should go on Father's Day out to the cemetery. But he's going to a wedding in that. Tonight. Yeah, but he's going later. Maybe you can go this morning after after he comes back from breakfast. Oh, I, I, I wouldn't uh, get up so early. 
What, 11 o'clock? Uh, yeah, 11 o'clock. It's, it's 8.30 now. We have two and a half hours. It's only 8.30 now. Well, then I won't go down in that afternoon. I just want to go and see what's going on here, you know, in the afternoon. Yeah. That's good that you're starting to get around I'm a little bit. I have a party life, you know. Uh-huh. The fathers probably will come. A lot of fathers. Although a lot of a lot of fathers, they haven't got the children yet. Yeah. The children uh, are older than. And they are so. Well, some of the fathers are here. I suppose. Well, the children will come. The children will come over here then. Sure. Mm hmm. So I hope uh, something will come out of it. We'll see. Last yeah. How does she act? She says, so far things are going well. We only went out a couple of times. She doesn't object to your beer, does she? I didn't ask her. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess not. She's still willing to go out with me. And uh, in Tasha Yeshiva, every book has a beard? No. Some a of lot them, of them do. Yeah. Some of them shave it? Um, yeah. I, yeah, some do. You can't shave it with a knife. You have That's to have, right. You have to have from uh, like a razor. Like a wooden, uh, isn't that? A yeah, wooden? well, now we can use a razor because it's not a... Oh, you can use, use a, a uh, one of those... Uh, you know, that has a cover over it, like a Norelco, that's okay. Well, you're, uh, the beard spoils your looks. You're a very good looking guy, but that beard... The beard doesn't, uh, it, it doesn't it, help, huh? No. Okay. It doesn't help at all. The girl must uh, be, uh, must think of you a lot or love you uh, in order to overlook the beard. <laughs> well, maybe I'll shave it. I'll see. You don't need the beard. We'll see, we'll see. If, uh, if you don't need it, you don't need it. So I couldn't understand that anyway, could I? Yeah, you could. The, the last one didn't come out so good. Maybe this one will be better. I'll yeah. play it back for you. <coughs> so uh, did you have it on before? And it, it it's still go? going. It's been going the whole time. Well, all right, then why don't you make it louder? What? No, it's um, it's recording now. It's not playing. Oh, it's recording what we're saying. What we are talking <laughs> about. But then why don't you say so? No. So we should say something that. <laughs> no, it's got to okay. be natural, Granny. Well, that's already quite a long conversation, isn't it? It's all right. It I makes no difference. No, I don't care. I just want to have your voice on tape. And then I, and then you'll have. Uh, uh, can you put the latam on there, or do you need another yeah, one? Yeah, I'll turn it over soon. I can put okay. plenty. I have uh, more tapes. Oh, you have some more of them? Yeah, sure. They're oh, cheap. Somebody's access voice too. What? Somebody's access voice, the girl's voice. No, I haven't recorded anyone else. No. Just you. Yeah. <laughs>